Colleen, I just saw in the news that I no longer have to pay the buyer's agent commission. Um, I don't have to pay him anything, is that right? Well, Nancy, you're right. There has been a lot of information on the news regarding commissions and all the recent lawsuits, but let me clear up some of the confusion. Commissions have not and are not going away from real estate transactions. They're simply just not going to be published in the MLS any longer. Commission is now and always has been fully negotiable. There are two important things to remember, two important keywords, if you will, transparency and negotiations. First, all the lawsuits that you heard about on the news were really aimed at providing more transparency to the client as to whom pays the commission and what that commission amount is. There was a recent settlement by the National Association of Realtors, which has caused some important MLS practice changes to help aid in this transparency. So one of the changes that was made to ensure that commissions become more transparent and more negotiable is that commissions will no longer be posted in the MLS. You see, Nancy, the MLS, or the Multiple Listing Service, is where an agent goes to enter their listing that's getting ready to go on the market. And this used to be where commissions were posted, and then that was the binding source of what an agent got paid when that home was sold. This field is being completely removed from the MLS. Now, commissions should always be negotiated right on the purchase agreement. However, now the binding source of what a buyer's agent will get paid will be negotiated and agreed upon right on the purchase agreement, making it both transparent and fully negotiable. Another change that was brought about by the settlement was that the MLS will now have a seller concession invitation field. So this is a new field where a seller can invite a buyer to include concessions right on their purchase agreement. The new field is simply filled out at the time the listing agent enters it into the MLS. So Nancy, if you want to invite and encourage and provide additional incentives to the buyer to view your home, which can lead to more showings and possibly even more or higher offers, then we can elect to place a yes in this field. We can discuss it further too, but there are two accompanying fields where you can place a dollar amount or a percentage. You don't have to select a dollar or percentage or fill in any amount. You can simply say yes to encourage it and the purchase agreement is what is going to determine the concessions that will be agreed upon and negotiated. So Nancy, as a seller, you should expect to see both concessions and commissions on your offers, even if we don't invite them in the MLS. Even though we don't talk about commissions in the MLS any longer, they can still be listed on the purchase agreement. Let me give you an example of an offer that I presented last week. The offer was actually asking for $5,000 in commissions to pay the buyer's agent and also included 3% concessions toward the buyer's closing costs. The important thing to remember is that all concessions and commissions should be negotiated and agreed upon right on the purchase agreement. And agents should be practicing this right now and not waiting until that commission field is removed from the MLS. So Nancy, what I really need to know moving forward is would you like to invite that buyer to include seller concessions on their purchase agreement? 